Hello dear Runnings, welcome to Running Hood. Today it would be an episode about how to fix the rattle. We have seen before that the Okaze from Bushiden had a huge rattle on the wind and on the height. So I decided to clean this aspect uh, with the help of katanasamurai.com. Uh, I proposed them uh, a tutorial that I've seen on YouTube that was about uh, how to fix the rattle with some Vaseline and some cotton but they gave me the advice to not use Vaseline because it can destroy the Saya uh, because wood, uh, wooden apparently wouldn't appreciate Vaseline so they tried on their side and I made this episode about how to do it uh, with just cotton you will see that I'm like 60-70% satisfied from this experience but for correcting a too much important rattle with a saya I think it's working but it asks uh, some patience um, many patience because first the cotton that you will push on the tip and then on the saya has to be uh, pressed and not uh, like fluffy so first thing it has to be like really uh, compressed and second you have to be really patient and to proceed by like little little small piece of cotton on this video I'm getting a little bit too much fast and my cotton used is too fluffy so uh, I, I recommend to not uh, do it with so fluffy part of cotton piece of cotton not doing this too, it's not a good idea because it's too much fluffy and it will stay on the middle of the saya. But to really compress the, the cotton like little balls and to push it from the tip to the to the saya in deep inside the saya to the part of the kojiri. So all the part that I put like this that were like uh, half made uh, not really well manufactured uh, not like little piece of ball of cotton well done on the tip uh, will create something that is not correct uh, that I experienced on the beginning the, the sound is, um, is, sh is shutting down so there is no any more rattle sound apparently but when you will draw out and draw back you saw it, uh, the cotton will will evolve and you will have to um, put some cotton again so I really don't recommend to use uh, fluffy cotton but making uh, density with the ball and correctly put on the tip so we can see that there is a great evolution on the height of the blade and on the width of the blade that create two type of sound when uh, you shake your saya to see if there is any more rattle the other thing is not good to have fluffy uh, not well put on the tip of your blade when you put inside the saya the, um, the cotton is that the cotton can stay on the middle of the length of the blade inside the saya this is the tozando you can see it's natural to have a little sound of uh, of rattle with time because uh, when we practice so much the, the the rattle is existing this is a yaito bushiden so the same problem i would say this is a middle rattle it's really important that means that the saya has not been made uh like tailored saya for the, 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 the shinken and now the okaze result for the moment we will see that it not has been totally correct, correctly made, so they will have an evolution on this of the sound. First, it, the sound shut down, but the sound will come back. So now I'm trying to push uh, all the cotton that is, there is on the middle part of the saya that has been uh, catched by the wood uh, scratchy part inside the saya that keep the cotton that's why uh, putting fluffy is not uh, the correct way 
the Tozando again. And here we can see that after many drawing out and draw back uh, the sword, the rattle is coming back on the wind, especially more on the wind than on the height of the blade. So I'm putting some cotton ball again, but please be careful because I made some mistake. I was not realizing how just a ball of two or three millimeters uh, really dense inside your saya getting to the kojiri can block then your uh, shinken and you won't be able to draw back correctly uh, with the correct fitting of the koiguchi so please be careful because it go really fast and when it's it's uh tighten on the kojiri uh you are in a bad situation. So I had to use this uh, instrument that I create for cleaning uh, Saya from bad oil. You have seen this in the episode of the Anyway Special Practical. I had some bad oil and I had the same I think uh, with the Shinto from Anyway because of a bad seller. And now the sound disappear again but a really, really few uh, sound, but I would say it's normal, uh, like with the Tozando on the width of the, the blade. So now I will have to, to find a way to, to push all the cotton to the Kojiri. And uh, to adjust with some last little balls, these balls is correct. This is the type of balls I think you should uh, do for your saya but please be careful because I had a problem at the end because I put a little bit too much and I had to try to take off some but if you want to take off some piece of cotton from the kojiri that is really deep inside the saya it's really difficult so it will be almost it was almost impossible for, for me. So I try to draw out and to draw back the sword. I would say this result for the moment is, uh, is correct, but I wanted to have something that has no sound to, to check if this technique and tip is uh, correct. I have to specify that even we, are, we will be able to correct the sound, the shape inside of the saya, if it's not tailored, if like it's universal and your uh, blade is moving inside, even you have put so much cotton on the kojiri and you have repaired entirely Yukoiguchi, that's what we will do in the next episode. Your blade won't have the same flow when you will draw out like Nukiuchi and you will make your noto when you would draw back your sword. So for example, uh, if I compare the Saya, the quality of the Saya for uh, the Okaze and for the Shinto from Anwe, for the moment my two favorite souls for practicing, um, it won't be the same quality for the drawing because uh, the Shinto from Anwe has a better uh, made, made manufactured Saya. So here I'm trying to take off uh, some, some little part of the cotton because uh, I can't uh, draw back entirely the Koiguchi inside of the Saya. It's my fault. Uh, I was not uh, hearing correctly the density of the cotton inside because I start with too much fluffy part. So I, I need to use uh, uh, some force on the two last millimeters. It shouldn't be that way. So now it's a correct result. Even I had to use my hook, uh, the instrument for cleaning Saya, a hoover. I use a hoover cotton but it was successful for uh, fixing that huge rattle. 
Thank you for having watched this episode. I hope you liked it. It was useful. And see you soon for the next episode in Running Hood. <laughs>